Hey everybody and welcome back to The Average. Today we have an exciting video because Palletful Packs sent me this free box and I'm really excited to unbox it. Now full disclosure, I have watched a couple of people unbox this, like my friends Casey who did an amazing job. But it kind of really scared me because I've never used alcohol inks in this way. I'm really looking forward to actually opening this up and getting my hands on what I saw in other people's videos. And let's just uh, get down to it, shall we? Woo! My first ever one experience. Woohoo! This is a celebration of us, guys. Each of these strands represent one of you got. No, that's awful. Sorry. Wow, look. Okay, so we get the alcohol ink that is very difficult to use that I've seen. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna... Okay, so we get this metallic gold ink, very nice. Rainbow ink, it's kind of glittery. Turquoise, lemon, aqua green, brown, magenta, and Caribbean. Hi, how are ya? I'm excited. You also get these Real Selection Princeton art brushes, which look quite nice. So pesto, please. Pesto. Pesto, please contain yourself. Pesto, please. She likes the plastic. She likes the sound of the plastic. And then we get this massive alcohol ink art panel, which is double-sided vinyl hardcore substrate. So this will be interesting to use. I think you can use both sides as well. So that's nice. We get this medium pad of Lupo paper. It's like shiny I guess so this will be really nice to use I think I'm gonna use this because I have this idea and my idea stems from this palette for pack having the inktober list inside what I want to do is because this year I kind of approached inktober and October came up and inktober is obviously hand in hand with that and I was like I ain't about that life I am tired of doing challenges like that where it just it dr completely drains me and I just feel really guilty when I ultimately fail so what I thought I'd do is just draw out little tiny ones of these and um, do them all in one go and then we can use like the these inks as backgrounds and stuff and I think it'll be quite fun. I have done some thumbnail sketches of all the drawings that I wanted to do and I really wanted to try like a different style and break out of my comfort zone and do like really angular shapes in the drawings so that each one has a similar theme to it and you can see that they're part of a kind of collection. So I've done um, all 31 images, some are bigger than others, some are not being chosen and yeah I just I want to use the Upo paper and see, do some experiments, see if I can use ink underneath drawing ink underneath these alcohol inks or if I can use them on top and if I can use pencil will it see through so I'm just going to experiment actually on this masterpiece board and use the back or front whichever one as a sort of experimental stage and then I'm going to use the Yupo paper to make all of the prompts so there's 10 sheets so I think what I'm going to do is put kind of maybe five on one and then we can use this as a little flip through sketchbook for my inktobers which would be fun. When I first tried to do this, I thought I was gonna use all the Yupo medium paper, but it turned out that that was a little bit more difficult to use. When I went to get the alcohol, realized that I needed to get the alcohol to help me dilute the, the inks to make them work a little bit easier on this Yupo paper, but when I got them, I had this massive accident. And the ring one was my favorite and it just just put me off a lot and then I tried to use my Molotow pens and it just I used the gray and I just hated how it turned out and I was getting really frustrated for something that is supposed to be quite fun I think these inks are supposed to just be experimental and fun and a bit like um, abstract but because the way I was using it I was trying to be really careful and make these detailed little illustrations for Inktober it just didn't work out for me so I put those aside and I decided to start on a big sheet of them. I started off with 25 and then I was going to add in the rest as I went, the other six I was going to put in on the sides where I felt like it would make sense and yeah I just went for it. I think once I started to enjoy the inks a bit more for what they were instead of being really careful and specific with them, just messing them around, pushing them around, um, mixing them, just seeing what looked nice together, I think I had a lot more fun and you can see that within this. So what I did is that I did loads of these thumbnails in my sketchbook. I drew out each individual prompt 
and then I realized that what I wanted to do was just do different squares of colors to indicate kind of what the illustration is and then just do little tiny thumbnail drawings of each of these prompts that I made. Obviously the pen that I used was this uh, Neo Pico Delita alcohol based so because it's alcohol based it worked with the alcohol inks and then I was able to once the inks dried go over and use it and then I had to wait for the alcohol pen to dry and once they dried that was all fine it didn't smudge at all so I didn't have any of the issues that I had with the Yupo paper and it was fun I just wanted to do quick doodles over the top of really nice colours and shades and I think it works really nicely. So the thirty one Inktober prompts are ring, mindless, bait, freeze, build, husky, enchanted, frail, swing, pattern, snow, dragon, ash, overgrown, legend, wild, ornament, misfit, tread, treasure, ghost, ancient, dizzy, tasty, dark, coat, ride, injured, catch and ripe. Did you get all that? Okay, good. So each individual thing is kind of like a little mini illustration of the idea that I had. I wanted to do it so that when I thought of the word, I drew instantly the thing that I thought of. And I think that really helped me to come up with different ideas is just think like some of them are not very clear, but I hope that some of them are. And for me, they're very clear, but to get all together, they just look like a really nice illustration. I might go back and redraw some of these on the bigger a scale on the Yupo paper and see how those look because that might be just fun as a future project anyway. But mixing these overall was fun and I just used the alcohol to clean off my brushes really. Apart from that I just got into more using the bottles as kind of like pens and then not really using the paint brushes but letting it kind of dry as it was and mix as it would naturally without me disturbing it too much. Obviously I went in with some areas to help it push it around to make it look like what I originally thought the thumbnail would be looking like. And using the pen was really nice on this surface. It felt really smooth and it just worked well. I'm glad that I found the right pen for the job and overall I really like the composition. I wish I could add um, a few more squares. I guess I wish there was more days in October but there isn't so we're gonna have to have this kind of lopsided piece. I went back in and just finished up all the little squares that I left out of it originally and that's basically it. That is the final illustration. Okay, I think I'm gonna call it, I think those are my final ones, so let's just go through them together. You probably can't, some of them didn't turn out as well as others, uh, the more simplistic ones obviously look better, um, you can actually tell what stuff is. I had fun overall with these inks, they were a lot harder than I expected, and I was intimidated by them to begin with, but I think I got the grips of them in the end overall and I had fun making this piece. I think it looks really cute. I may fill in these blocks with just like random doodles just to make a complete piece. But there are 31 prompts here and we did it. We got through it. We got through the pain. I realised that these ones failed but yeah, I, I enjoyed the experimentation and doing something a little bit different and I hope that you guys enjoyed this journey with me through this learning curve. That's it. Thanks to Paletteful for sending me this fun box. I enjoyed my time. I really enjoyed messing around with the inks and mixing them together and experimenting. It was great. Okay, so thanks for watching guys and I will see you next time. Bye.